Good. Drop your right shoulder a little bit. Good. What's up guys, Dr. Drew here, your boy back on the channel. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't seen us before, this is Hawkeye Chiropractic. We're located in Arlington Heights, Illinois. Uh, we do chiropractic physical therapy videos as well as treat plenty of patients in the area. So today's a special video. It's a VIP video. We're gonna be putting out these VIP videos once a week now. So make sure you guys follow them. They're gonna be super dedicated to people not only that are having discomfort and pain, but close to me specifically. So today I'm here with Mike Breslin. He's actually a caddy at Medina as well as he's a college athlete golfer specifically at Elmhurst College and so we're gonna go through his typical routine you guys might have seen his teammate Dino in the last video as well similar routine just different injuries different traumas that we're gonna be working with so first thing I'm gonna do is introduce you to Mike okay he's a great guy I'm gonna have him explain a little bit about his history not just with golf but other sports as well He's with a high-level hockey player um, kind of go through his typical workup and then we'll kind of dial in specifically what we're gonna do all right so Mike just tell the people a little bit about yourself uh, yeah, so I've been buddies with Doc, caddy for him, but before I was always a hockey player like Doc too. Um, played, had some injuries, but always had discomfort within my neck and back. And so that's kind of followed me within golf as we still do like weightlifting, a lot of swing training. Um, so we're going to hear kind of focus on that today. And also caddying with Doc in the summer, you always got to be carrying a bag. So a lot of shoulder and neck discomfort as well. So we're gonna have Doc take care of that today. Yeah, so not only is he carrying his bag while he's playing, but also he's caddying as his full-time job in the summer. So again, he's doing what, two or three loops a day, which is a lot of walking. Plus it's a lot of weight on these shoulders, especially if you're double bagging it. So any of you caddies out there, any of you guys have been with caddies, you know they put in a lot of work, a lot of stress on their body. Again, that's just gonna repetitively break down that upper back and tissue. And again, we wanna make sure that Mike is at 100% when he's in season. Um, so that's one of the reasons why he's here. He's getting treatment as well as we're at all of his tournaments and things like that, okay? So we're just gonna go through some soft tissue work with Mike. We're gonna go through his normal adjustments, some shoulder stuff as well. Any comments or questions, leave them below, uh, but we'll love to hear from you guys soon, okay? All right, Mike, so go ahead. Uh, put your head against my chest here, good. First thing we're gonna do is just motion palpate Mike's neck. So I'm essentially just going through each vertebrae, one through seven on both sides. I'm feeling how that joint is actually moving. What I wanna feel is a nice spongy area. I don't wanna feel like I'm pushing into like a brick or pushing into something hard. That's gonna tell me that that bone is stuck as well. So it should be nice and spongy. We're gonna go left and right here. Take a look at his range of motion. Take a look at his occiput. Good. Mike typically has a lot of stress on this right side. Again, he's also a student, so he's full-time in the class. Good. Good, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna adjust this right side of his neck. Perfect, same thing, just relax here, Mike. Good. Drop your right shoulder a little bit. Good. Good, turn your head to the right. Perfect, just stay right there for me. Great adjustment right there. We're gonna work up some of this tissue in his traps. Once we do that, we're gonna do some soft tissue on his neck with that Graston tool you guys have seen in other videos. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna have a little bit of pressure, bringing his left ear down to his left shoulder. That's just gonna unlock that trap. So you guys are gonna see this muscle right here flare up. That's from constantly looking down with this at your phone, in school, on the computer, looking down in your golf stance, anything like that. Good, let's go to this other side here. How's that pressure, Mike? Mike, I'm gonna have you go ahead and lay on your back. Yep. Good. 
What we're gonna do now is a little bit of soft tissue work. We talk about this muscle all the time. It's called your sternocleidomastoid, your SCM, which attaches from that mastoid process to that sternum and clavicle. So again, we're just gonna push nice and easy, just like this. Good, keep breathing through that mic. Good. Pressure okay? Mm -hmm. What this does is unlocks those bones. You guys gotta remember, the tissue is like a rubber band. So if it's super tight, one side of that bone's gonna be pulled more than the other. So if we're able to unlock that bone, unlock that tissue, and make sure that's not pulling, it's gonna help stabilize this adjustment, which means essentially you're gonna have a longer lasting adjustment. So that bone's not gonna go out as easily because you have less stress or tension on it. Good. Other side. There. Also gonna work on these pecs too. Just pushing right in there. <clears throat> Again, guys, with that golf stance and your shoulders being routed forwards, if you have tight pecs, okay, and you're going through your golf swing and you're essentially constantly flexed, it's not gonna allow for an easy follow through. This is one thing that we work on with a lot of swing coaches and a lot of golfers that we see just staying as comfortable as we can. Good. Good, on the other side. So follow that pec line. Remember, don't put too much pressure in here. Just wanna wake it up. We'll adjust these shoulders too in a second. And then we'll do a full spine adjustment here. Good. I'm gonna have you sit up again for me, Mike. Swing your legs to the left. We're gonna adjust my shoulders now, now that we opened up his chest. So I'm gonna reach around, grab this elbow. Good, relax this arm. There we go. Same thing here. Perfect, good. All right, go ahead and lay chest down for me again, Mike. <clears throat> now what we'll do a full workup from the hips all the way through. So first thing we're gonna do is a big stretch, deep breath in, good, all the way out. Good, other side, deep breath in, all the way out. Good, same thing, deep breath in. All the way out. We're gonna start off by adjusting this pelvis. Piece is gonna pop up. Just drop, just like this. Good. We're gonna work our way through here, guys. You're gonna hear popping and cracking. Remember, that's just gas keeping the joint completely normal. Deep breath in, Mike. All the way out. Good, deep breath in. All the way out. Adjust these bones through here. Relax that right shoulder. Good. Good. Last one. We're gonna have you lay on your back, Mike. Perfect. We're gonna do a big stretch on his neck. Lift your head up for me. Good. Relax. Perfect. Big stretch here. Help open up that disc space. Okay, if you haven't heard of a disc, that's what separates the bone above and bone below from touching each other. So the thicker it is, the healthier it is, but the narrower it is, the more unhealthy it is. So by stretching it out, it's gonna allow for more fluid to get in there. We'll go from there, a little bit deeper stretch here. I'm gonna do a couple pulls and hold these. Good. 
Good. How you doing, Mike? Oh, holy crap. <laughs> That's a big one. That's huge, right? Yeah. Mike got up pretty quick from that. I just want to make sure I'm still moving. <laughs> yeah, God forbid, right? Um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Go Blue Jays. Uh, again, if you have any questions or comments, any golf things specifically, take a look at the rest of our videos. Uh, we got a couple guys in the Corn Ferry Tour as well that we work with, specifically high-level guys that are trying to get to the tour as well. So, again, thanks for watching this video, Mike. Appreciate it. Thanks, I'll see you guys in the next one.